Time for the morning rush. We start with developing news for you this morning. We expect to learn more about this police scene in northeast Albuquerque overnight. This will not be a trouble spot for you this morning. The scene is all clear. You can see the officers running a Motel 6 in the area of Manal and Carlisle just after midnight. You can even see one officer appear to be taking cover. Of course, we'll continue following this story for you. Let you know any latest developments right here on KRQ News 13. Family of the mother of two killed while crossing Louisiana is mourning their loss this morning. This as police continue to investigate. Police say preliminary investigations show two cars were likely racing Saturday night and one of the cars struck 39 year old Angelica Baca. Detectives say four Kirtland airmen were inside that car. Three were taken to a local hospital. So far, no arrests have been made. Kristen. Our next weather maker will come in the form of southerly flow, bringing us a lot more moisture to work with. We'll for sure see the cloud cover, likely some storms starting over the Sacramento's in the mountain areas up to the north before pushing off to the north northeast. The majority of this happens this evening, overnight into early Wednesday. Of course, we'll keep an eye on the severity of those storms, isolated severe risk later on tonight. David. State police want you to call them if you see this missing teen right here. 16-year-old Andres Tovas was last seen yesterday morning after being dropped off at Santa Fe High School. Police say he was last seen wearing blue jeans, blue Under Armour tennis shoes, and a short sleeve black shirt with stripes over a long sleeve shirt. You can expect to hear from those wanting to fill U.S. Senator Tom Udall's spot in the coming months. Experts say Attorney General Hector Valdez and Congressman Ben Ray Lujan are at the top of the list for Democrats who could possibly replace him. Former Governor Susana Martinez and former Congressman Steve Pierce on the Republican side. The 70-year-old Udall is not running for re-election in 2020. New this morning, Border Patrol agents are moved from, or being moved rather, from New Mexico checkpoints. Border Patrol announcing it's temporarily shutting down those five checkpoints. A spokesman for the Border Patrol tells the New York Times that the measure will free up more agents to work directly on the border so they can process those already in custody. The Transportation Department furthering their investigation into Boeing 737 MAX planes. The department now says it will create a special committee to review the FAA's certification of the aircraft. 737 MAX planes remain grounded worldwide this morning after the Ethiopian Airlines and Lion Air deadly crashes. We're looking ahead to Friday when the New Mexico Medical Cannabis Board is scheduled to meet. On their agenda, they are considering adding opioid addiction as a reason to qualify for medical marijuana. Adding opioid addiction to the list of 21 conditions is a change supported by the governor, but ultimately decided on by the Secretary of State and well, rather the Health Secretary. Now, the Santa Fe City Council could soon consider proposed changes on speed vans. City Council voted in 2017 to bring the speed vans back. City Councilor Signe Lindell is now suggesting to set the fine at $50, no matter how many times a driver gets caught. That's all according to the Albuquerque Journal. Originally, councilors proposed the fine go up to $100. We're looking ahead for you on this Tuesday morning. Members of the Game Commission must respond by tomorrow to the governor's request to resign. The seven-member commission governs hunting, fishing, and other wildlife management across the state. The governor says a new board would be appointed as quickly as possible. This morning, an artist trying to figure out why the city completely covered up his mural. Noe Barnett partnered with Charity A21 to paint the mural and help raise awareness for human trafficking. After learning it was tagged with graffiti, he says the city completely painted over it, but never told him why. He's now selling smaller prints of the mural. Kristen. Metro threat index out of four for today. We do have that isolated storm risk coming in later this evening into tonight, but not everybody sees the rain. It's pretty isolated in coverage here in the Rio Grande Valley, but the breezy conditions start today. 10 to 20 miles per hour coming out of the south. No problems with those temperatures in the 70s. David. New Mexico State University has secured more funds now, hoping to keep men's basketball coach Chris Jans on board for another season. Jans got a retention bonus of $159,000 last November. Athletic director Mario Moxia says that they have secured enough private donations now to boost that December bonus to $244,000. These guys look familiar. The pedal boats at Tingley Beach are moving to the zoo. You'll be able to use them next month. The boats will be moved to the duck pond. You can begin renting out the boats for 15 minutes at a time on weekends in April. After Memorial Day, the boats will be available every day. The price should be below the old price of 10 bucks for a half hour. New Mexico veterans are becoming entrepreneurs, all thanks to a national program, Boots to Business. The program guides transitioning and former service members into new roles as business owners, teaching them computer skills, how to get a small business loan, and offers one-on-one -on -one counseling even after they've gone through the program. 
Well, the isotopes there are now looking ahead to opening night against the Salt Lake Bees, but they already have a win under their belt. More than 12,000 fans showed up for the game against the Colorado Rockies yesterday. The Topes taking the win with a final score of 7 to 4. Opening night is April 4th. Kristen. Time now for a check on that Tuesday morning commute. The map looks good, just showing construction again. I-40 westbound near the Big Eye. We also have our news tracker out this morning on I-25 near Montgomery. Things moving smoothly there. Of course, we'll keep an eye on this for you throughout the morning. Well, a new crime drama is, drama is starting up, and you'll be able to watch it right here on CBS. It's going to begin filming here in Albuquerque later this month. State Film Office's Interrogation stars Peter Sarsgaard and Davis Strathairn. Now, the show will be turning the viewer into a detective as they follow the true case of a man convicted of murdering his own mother.